Hey guys, this is GeeseQuest16 back for more Mario Party 4 board playthroughs. We will, I will go over the present room, the auction room, do the final battle from the minigame room, and hopefully close the project in this video. So let's go ahead and get started. We are first going to go over to the auction room since that is uh, because there ain't much to show in here. Hey, let me clean my glasses real quick. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, you know, had to clean my glasses off a little bit. Cause, so here we are in the auction room. Here's what the auction room is. You just choose basic options like control. You can turn the rumble settings on or off on your controller. Oh, here you can uh, check out the sound settings. You can switch to between stereo and mono. You can even listen to game music. So, uh, let's see here. Uh, yeah, Goomba's Greedy Gala, uh, Sita Sheree, Not Only Party, that's a good soundtrack. Mini games, Heart Pumping. Oh, yeah, that. Oh, this one's always pretty, pretty good. It's ha 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 ha. Oh yeah, if you lose or something. Yeah, Mario Speed Wagons. Okay, uh, character voices. You can listen to the characters' voices from different characters like Mario. War Cry. I guess that's the taunt button. Uh, Peaches. Huh? Here comes Bowser. Here comes Bowser. <laughs> Here comes Bowser. <laughs> oh god, I'm, I'm about lost it, guys. <laughs> Bowser. Okay, Yoshi. Eh, Wario. Oh. Monkey, okay, DK, Daisy. I have no idea what she's saying there, Mr. Waluigi. What's the war cry? I guess that like taunt button? Okay, guy characters. And other things. And that's it! And that is the uh, sound settings here. Over here, you can check out the records. I guess this is what ones you're winning. Okay, boards. See how many times you played the boards. Number of coins, number of stars gotten in each. And yeah. And total number of wins for each character in the series. And you can tell Warrior has the most since I played with him. Basically, some of those wins are from uh, the main boards. And okay, that's the board records. And is this one, that one just goes back. Is there mini game records here? Yeah, mini game records. You can see from Mario Melody, Domination, Right and Left, and so on. So, and I think that will do it for the option room. Yep. That's going to do for the auction room. Now we are going to go to the present room. There you can uh, check out the presents that you get from the uh, from the party from the story mode. Excuse me. Let's see. Yeah, present room. This is where the shy guy, the shy guy uh, invitation is. Show it off real quick. Then we're going to go back to the main game room, and then we'll do the final battle to wrap things up and show the credits. I think I'll do that in this video. Let's get it done out of the way. So. I'll discuss something right during the credits. Okay, so here we are in the present room. Like I said, this is where you can view the presents you get from uh, from story mode. And you can sell a pedestal for something. These are for each of the characters. And this is Wario's present rooms. You can tell the others are for the other characters. You get those for playing them on the uh, story mode. But I played as Wario in the story mode here. 
Okay, he got Warrior's Motorbike. He's lost his life and so he's not going anywhere. Well, that's a nice motorbike. Okay, it's just Warrior's chair. Sure, it looks flashy, but it's totally empty. Nice. Okay, Warrior Doll, he might be a little too disgusting to be a hero. Okay, this is Warrior's Recliner. It's got a vicious massage function. Hmm. And my favorite, Warrior's Hamburger. He can polish it off in one bite. And a Bowser Clock. It's always 13 minutes slow. Freakish. Uh, yeah. And that is, uh... I don't know what goes there. I guess that's for when everybody uh, completes to get all the presents for the other characters, I think. Yeah. And yeah, that's the... Oh, minigame! Presents for minigames. I guess this is from the minigames you get from the, uh... Characters that you beat in a story mode, like Goomba, Toad, uh, Koopa, etc. And from Bowser. Goomba Plate, it flies when you throw it. Let's see. Hey, Koopa Plate, it's polish it is a mirror and it's hard as well. Boo's Picture Frame, it holds Pride of Spirit your picture. Boo Plate, it usually holds Blood Oranges? Wow. Bowser Plate, perfect for a burnt steak. And is that it? Okay, that will do it for the present room. Yeah, I don't have much left. I don't have much of it anyway. But now, we are going to go to the... Back to the mini game room. So, like I said, I'm going to do the final battle. Now, the final battle, to unlock this one, you, unlock the final battle, you need to uh, beat Bowser's Gnarly Party. And uh, you might, and uh, you get this mini game. It's very, very interesting. It's kind of like a final boss battle, like uh, Stardust Battle for Mario Party 3 when you battle the Millennium Star. And I'll tell you what, uh, how about we be Mario for this one? And we don't care because this is just one player only. And it's in the Bowser mini games, I think. Yep, no, it's not. It's in the etc. So here we go, this is the final battle. We'll show you what it looks like here in just a minute. And it's a big giant party cube. And this one, you must chase Bowser and the Koopa kids here. On this little uh, path across the, the party cube to uh, uh, get uh, the Bowser. Okay, you go before. You won't be getting these presents quite as easily as you thought. You can have you can have them if you can get to me. It's hopeless, but you do your best anyway. So yeah, according to Bowser, he has our presents that he uh, stole from us. Okay, so this party cube is filled with obstacles. Don't think you're getting it so easily. That's right, things are going to get hot. Touch the magma and say goodbye. Night night. So yeah, this first part here, we got a uh, little platform here with circling flames. Now if you touch them, you will lose 1 HP. Now if you touch the magma, it's instant death, so... So just make your way, watch the pattern of the, uh, the flame things here, I guess they're like flamethrowers. Now that one can be kind of tricky right there, but, but hey, in typical mini games, they have uh, a temporary invinci invincibility. Now you want to be in perfect shape once you get to the final area. And once you beat one area, you're going to another one. And this one looks kind of familiar. Welcome, but you're stuck here, Penny One. You will go no further. Can you solve the riddle of this room? And don't try to move the puzzle pieces of the ground pound. You creep! You cheap little... Yeah! And yeah, we need to do a little Super Mario reference. I uh, do a ground pound on these uh, puzzle pieces and get them together. Well, not necessarily Super Mario 64, but the puzzle kind of reminds it. And yes, the Koopa Kids will try to stop you. It will throw uh, little balls there, flame, and tornadoes that will pack a punch. But this is very easy here. Just one more piece, and there we go. And that will do it for the Koopa Kids as they've been defeated. Drat, sorry, Mr. Master Bowser. It's his fault! No, wait a minute, it's your fault, buddy. You told us how to uh, move the puzzle. Okay, there's Bowser. And we got another one of these segments again, but this time there's two of these that has these uh, three flame, flame floor things, I guess is what they're called. And this one doesn't have anything, but 
Oh, wait, whoa, 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 I guess it sinks into the lava, I think. That's ah, good. There we go. Okay, so I've got like one, two, three, four, five pieces left. And now we got a big Bowser picture here, which we need to do if we need the Cuba kids. But Bowser will be the interference this time. So let's do the same thing, do the same thing, but we got a little bit more pieces this time. And yes, Bowser will try to stop you. Got a fire boomerang, make sure you jump over that. And wow, I think, yeah, I'm already done, okay. And I guess this will move on to the final part of the battle. Yep. Now, final boss battle, Bowser. Now I'll bury you. Alright, I'm not gonna stand for this. Now, prepare to meet your doom. So, we got classic Mario versus Bowser here. Now, this is kinda easy. You need to get Bowser's health drain. So, step on these, uh, or ground pound these little star things. You'll form a line. Now, you need to get Bowser in a triangle, like so. And lightning will come down and will shock him. So you need to try to get him in that area right there, so. Don't fall into the magma here. And watch out for Bowser's flames. And yeah, right there, lightning will come down and will just take one HP away from him. And process repeats. Now what I would normally do is try to go for the longer range that I come from the top corner to the bottom corner. Like that right there. So stay, 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 stay. Yes, there we go. That's what I would normally, that's what I would try to do. But make sure you don't run into Bowser. Or else he will, will hurt you. And yes, he will blow fire breath. And I just thought stupidly ran into the lava there. Okay, two more hits should about do it. Uh, let's go down this way. Uh... Let's try to talk. Let's see what that'll do. No, get off. Stop it. Yes, get off. And make sure you don't step on it when the lightning strikes with us. You will lose a heart point as well. Okay, one more HP and he'll be finished. And yes, you can tell Bowser gets faster and faster. And we'll do a charge attack. Let's see. Come on, come on. Okay. Do I get him? What? Oh, I should have got him right there. He was clearly on the thing, and I guess when he's down to one HP, he'll fire another bo fire boomerang. Okay, let's do this. Oh no, 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 no! Come over here, Bowser. Ow! Shoot! Shoot! Get off! Get off! Get off! Get off! Damn! Oh, what? I fell into the lava! Ah, oh, dang it! Ah, oh, shoot! Well, hang on, guys. I'll be right back. Well, guys, I'm back. And seven more attempts later because I kept on failing at this part. And a couple other parts of the cube as well. So, But hopefully this will be it. This will be the final hit. As long as he doesn't get a cheap shot in like my last attempt. Well, unrecorded attempt. Because I almost had him, too. And he did that stupid charge attack. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! There we go, finally! Whew! We defeated Bowser. In the final battle. And Mario's the winner. Whew! Well, guys, that will do it for the final battle. And that will do it for uh, the main part of the project. The only thing you have to do now is review the credits. So I want to make another footage cut here, guys, and I will see you guys back, back at the uh, when I'm at the credits scene. So it might take me a minute. So I'll be back. Hey guys, I'm back, and yeah, it's Wario's birthday. So I might have came in a little bit early in the credits, but uh, anyway. So yeah, guys, uh, this has been Mario Party 4 board playthroughs. I uh, really hope you guys enjoyed the project. It's one of my favorite, probably one of my favorite on the GameCube. And speaking of which, uh, right here at the credits row, you can see how the uh, Party Cube was made by the uh, Toad, Koopa, and the rest of the gang, and how they make their drawings and stuff. So 
So yeah, like I said, this has been Mario Party 4 board playthroughs. Pretty good game to kick off the GameCube section of the, of the Mario Party franchise. Because uh, the next game I'll be doing, which is number 5, some say it's probably the worst, probably one of the worst of the series. And I kind of agree with them. I mean, it does, it's kind of alright, but it's not one of my favorites, though. And, a cup, and some say it's 7, but 7, I agree 7 is a little bit better than uh, 5. 6, too. I don't even know I haven't played much of 6, though, so. So, yeah, speaking of Mario Party 5, that is the next Mario Party game we're going to do. Ah, uh, that will be probably for a while. I would say around late 2012, early 2013, around the winter of that time period. I still need to, uh actually beat the game like do story mode and all that stuff so get all the mini games unlocked the boards the uh there's actually uh, some more events that will be done in mario party 5 that i need to do so so yeah probably around around i would say late december early january maybe onward towards february is probably when i'll start mario party 5 so so say around 2013 i say like early part of 2013 So yeah, and the games getting their costumes, so. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this game, because, uh, like I said, this is actually my favorite of the GameCube's part of uh, Mario Party series. Because 4 through 7 is on the GameCube, like I said, and uh, 8 and 9 on the Wii. That's another game I need to play. I haven't played much of Mario Party 8. I need to get, I need to get that game. I've rented it, but I haven't played much of the game. But anyways... Uh, this is actually a pretty short credit scene, now that I think about it. But, the credit scene is alright, and... What's the shy guy doing? <laughs> Dude, like, hey, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. Uh... Yeah, the game's getting really... Like the whole, like Toad's gang right there. They're planning on what to do, I guess. But it's pretty cool. It shows the process of how the party cube was made, and I like that. I mean, yeah, it has a cheesy storyline. Most Mario Party games do have cheesy storylines, but they don't care about how uh, how the storylines turned out. It's just how the gameplay is. I mean, it has really good gameplay in this game. And, uh, I mean, yeah, story storyline, it's your person's birthday, and you have to win presents by being on board, so. But, who cares, we just, let's do it for gameplay. And, yes, the star inserted himself on the, uh, the party cube. I guess that's where, how the star got on the party cube. Now, I think they're getting ready to get it in the air, I guess. Yeah, we're at the end, because you can see where it says the double surround, Dolby, and the double D symbol. And wait a minute. Double D from Ed and Eddie's here. But it says where it says double and Dobi and the double D symbol. It's double D from uh, Ed and Eddie. I didn't know he was in this game. Make this game. Ah, this game, guys. Hey. Ed and Eddie and Mario Party are two different things. Okay. And and that that's the credits and the copyright of all characters music. Yeah, all that reserved by Nintendo. Okay, guys, that is it, and now we're getting ready to get the party queued up in the air. And the only way to access this credit is to go through the story mode again. Well, not go through it again. If you haven't saved it, if you haven't saved at the end, you can view it again. So, so yeah, guys, this has been uh, in the end. So yeah, this has been Mario Party Four board playthroughs. I will see you guys next time. For when I do the next Mario Party game, which is number five, for more, well, I'll be back for more Mario Party board playthroughs with number five in the project around, I would say, around, I would say the beginning of 2013, maybe. We'll see what happens then, so. That's going to do it. This is GeeseQuest16 signing off, and reminding you to keep on partying, folks. Later.